Hey everyone, so tonight I'm doing a review on the Marvel Legends Inhumans Marvel's Medusa, the Walgreens exclusive. Let's go look at the front of the package. It says Inhumans. That's her in the front. Has a cool picture of her on the side. I like the colors. Looks pretty cool. Pops out. Has the Medusa logo on the top. And on the back shows a picture of the figure. Along with a little brief bio. Which I don't know if you guys feel like we're reading that. My hand wasn't in the way. <laughs> So I'm going to get, get her out of the package and I'll check out the details. All right, guys, so just real quick, this is the inside of the package. Just got a bunch of crazy hair as if she's like Rapunzel. <laughs> All right, but anyway, so here she is out of the package. Got to brighten it up so you guys can see her son. Very cool figure. I actually like her more than the Comic-Con exclusive we got a while back. Um, I think this one looks... I just like the way this one looks. I think it looks a lot better. So she's got the nice uh, mask over the front here. Um, it's nice, kind of like a pearlized uh, purple. There we go, camera. Pearlized purple. You can see her eyes are looking straight on. They're not, you know, derp eyes or anything like that. But the mask paint on nice and clean. It's not bleeding over or bleeding down into her face, her eyes. Got the purple lipstick. Good flesh tone. Green eyes. Looks really cool. And her hair is done really well. It's like a dark red. It's got a nice black wash going all the way through. Crazy hair, right? It looks really good, though. It's kind of a pliable uh, plastic, almost rubbery. It's just a great sculpt. But the suit just looks awesome to me. I really like it. So it's got more of the light purple on the main body of the suit. And then it's kind of a darker purple. But it, is, it does have a shimmer to it. So it is, um, gosh, this camera. It is pearlized to me. Get this camera to focus. Hopefully, it's a little better. Especially on the gloves, you can kind of see it. It's kind of more of a, got just more of a pearlized look to me. And the belt just looks really cool, but it just continues that flat purple along the body. And the belt's just more of that pearlized uh, purple. And it's got the uh, Medusa logo in silver right there on the front. It looks really cool. And then same thing with the boots. It just kind of goes into that pearlized purple. But so it's not a crazy amount of detail. I just like the overall look of the suit better. So it just looks really cool. And then we'll go ahead and do the articulation. Of course, you're not going to have her look down because this hair is so big, but because it will never stay. <laughs> and she can't really look up because the hair hinders it quite a bit. It's got ball joints in the shoulders, so they move out, forward, and back, kind of. The hair gets in the way, so you kind of have to kind of rotate her head and get the arm to go back further. Uh, no bicep swivel, single joint at the elbow with the rotation at the elbow, hinge at the wrist, and rotation at the wrist. And then she has the um, upper, you know, chest swivel, and it can go back about that much, but it gets kind of funky because of the hair and kind of crunch forward. But again, it's hard because the hair it looks kind of like like she's like hunched over if you do it that way. <laughs> but it's got the spread about that far, and you can kick forward about that much, and got the upper thigh swivel. Well, it's a little loose. Double jointed knees. No boot rotation, ankles move down, they move up. It does have a nice little ankle rocker and pedals the bottom of the feet. So I guess I'll show you guys how tall Medusa is. All right guys, so I'll show you guys how tall Medusa stands. And she's right around, right at a little over six inches, by a little bit, so nice and tall. And here she is next to the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Medusa which um, I definitely like her a whole lot better. Um, there's lots of reasons why. Um, one, I like the feet. Feet are flat, so she's easier to stand, whereas this one's got the high heels, so she always ends up kind of looking like she's looking up just because the kind of rests on the hair a little more at an angle. So if you look, it just kind of slants back because of those high heels. I just had never liked that. Mine kind of came a little loose, but also I like this costume a whole lot better. But we'll go ahead and show you guys here so you can just kind of see the differences. Definitely a different, um, I believe it's a different head, head sculpt. I can't really, it's hard to tell with that mask and the flesh tone and the eyebrows. Maybe this, actually I think it is the same. It's just, it's amazing what that paint will do to it. But I just like the more, uh, this costume a whole lot better. You can see the hair is a little different colors. Um, this one's a lot of a lighter red and this one's definitely more darker. But just overall, I like the costume, but you can see the heels. I just never like the high heels on these figures just because it's so hard to stand them then. But 
very cool. So there's that little comparison. Get them standing again, there you go. And then here she is next to the Comic-Con exclusive uh, Black Bolt, which always is kind of, let's see if I can get him to look a little normal with his arms out so it looks connected. <laughs> if he's not punching her in the head. Oh, come on, there we go. Um, I have not yet picked up the um, Black Panther Wave Black Bolt. I probably will wait to get that guy just because I mainly just want the um, alternate head with him yelling and kind of all lit up. I think that looks really cool. Um, but I'll probably end up waiting to see if I can just get a him cheaper just because I just that's all I want is the other head. But she does look really cool with uh, this Black Bolt. But yep, definitely will be not having her in my display. I'll be putting her away. And definitely having her in my um, small Inhumans display or, you know, cosmic display. I just think that looks a lot better. But overall, I really like her. I think it's a cool figure. Um, I like the belt. I mean, I just like the overall look of this figure. I just think it's a really, really nice uh, Medusa. Um, so definitely uh, worth getting to me, especially if you can find her on Wal Walgreens right now with, their, with them having that sale of $12.99 until the end of February, I believe. But again, there you go, guys. That's my review on Medusa. Please leave a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe if you haven't. All right, take care.